Hey everybody, I've got a video here for you today. Now I like making videos on any ancient site in the world and I have many of them covered and I'll make a video on a site whether it is extremely popular or totally unknown and I want to fly you into a country that has ancient pyramids and petroglyphs and many other ancient things and of course that is the United States of America. We are flying into eastern Wisconsin in a place called Ozatlan State Park and I watched a TV show a little earlier that reminded me about this site and I think this is a pretty important site coming from about a thousand years ago and here you see the remains of an ancient earthen pyramid and there's quite a bit of sophistication put into these things some people call these earth mounds but there was a lot more to it than that and here you see at this site there was the this timber fence that was I believe uh, people say it was covered in clay in antiquity when this town was flourishing so the defense here was very uh, highly skillfully built located along the crawfish river we have some more earthen pyramids down at this end and there are mounds in the site but just preserving the main part of this area here today that's good too many of these mounds have disappeared from the United States but here you see the main pyramid here and it looks a lot like the one uh, or at least very similar to the one at Cahokia and Poverty Point and I think there's a good possibility that these ancient pyramids were made to represent a turtle the turtle had to do a lot with the creation myths of Native Americans and uh, tribes coming from Mesoamerica but I just think that is a good possibility Oop. but there you go and uh, Azatlan people have said the Aztecs um, I included this in my video about Teotihuacan Brian Forster mentioned that the Aztecs came from a land called Azatlan and it was called place of whiteness and he theorized maybe mountain uh, tops covered with snow that's where they got this but I guess it is a possibility that they were talking about the northern United States and Wisconsin um, we have many mounds in Wisconsin and Minnesota and I know that coming from Minnesota that is definitely a land of whiteness with all the snowfall uh, many months of the year but I just thought I would show you that. Now I'm gonna jump over to some pics here, but this is the main structure at Azalon State Park. I think this is a very impressive pyramid. I believe this is about 75 meters by 75 meters, so it's no tiny mound. And here is wisconsinmounds.com, and I just wanna read the plaque here from Azalon. It says, Indian people lived at Az." Aztlan, I guess is how it's pronounced, between A.D. 900 and 1200, the village encompassed 20 acres and was well planned. The inhabitants, the inhabitants planted corn, beans, and squash, hunted wild game, fished, and collected native plants for food. An elite group of individuals organized ceremonies and village life. A stockade surrounded the major portion of the village. Inside, three platform mounds and a natural knoll marked four corners of a large plaza. The village was abandoned for reasons that remain a mystery. Aztalan is one of the most important archeological sites in Wisconsin, representing a complex lifestyle rarely found in the Great Lakes region, a unique blend of native and exotic cultures. Information about the site was first pub published in 1836, and since then, the ruins have attracted a considerable public and scientific interest. Archaeological excavations continue to uncover valuable, valuable information about Aztalan's daily life. And I guess I might have mispronounced that in the beginning of the video, but I don't care. But here we go. Here are some pictures of some mounds that are found here and the stockade fence, these impressive earthen pyramids. And once again, these are just not heaps of dirt piled up. There is some complexity to these with different materials being used throughout the pyramid. And this is called the Princess Burial Mound, and this is a unique mound found at the end of the park. It says, ancient people built this mound to mark a young woman's grave. The mound was 
the last in a line that once bordered the western side of the ancient community of Aztalan and the only one that consist contained a burial. Her community placed the young woman on her back, hands at her sides, in a pit dug down to a natural layer of white sand. White sand, land of whiteness, there we go, that white again. They carefully wrapped her body with three six inch wide and four feet long head beaded belts placed at her shoulders, waist, and feet. Hundreds of dish-shaped beads made from local clamshells and tubular beads made from shells imported from the Gulf Coast adorned her belts. And I find that very interesting that we have beads coming from material coming all the way from the Gulf Coast all the way up to Wisconsin. It says, she was covered with, the, with soil, a layer of white sand, and a large mound of earth. Because of the ornate belts and careful placement of her remains, the internment has been referred to as the princess burial. And I will leave this link below. It gives a very excellent detailed description of what this ancient city used to look like. I found this website extremely valuable. And once again, I will put it in the description of the video here and going back to Google Earth here I just want to zoom out and I have had a couple comments in the past asking me about Rock Lake the Rock Lake Pyramid and I believe this is it right here very close to it but uh, any investigation I did of the Rock Lake Pyramid it kind of sounds like a tale of inebriated Wisconsinites um, <laughs> Sorry, that's just the way us native Minnesotans talk about our neighbors to the east, but uh, I have no verification that there is a pyramid at the bottom of that lake. But that's just a brief video about this important site in eastern Wisconsin. I believe it was the Cahokia of the Great Lakes region coming from the same time and the cities look alike. But just hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice day.